I don't let anything guide my questioning or I'm really trying to understand because if I don't if I don't understand myself I'm never I don't have a hope of communicating anything communicating anything worthwhile in my work and my father once said to me why do you want to be a journalist he said a journalist's job is to is to simplify everything so the dumbest people in society can know what's going on so you'd spend your whole life catering to the, the stupid and I <laughs> I realized I thought about that often <laughs> over the years and I realized actually, you know, of course, that's not what it's about at all. But in any event, to make a complicated, everything in life is complicated. Every story, every situation you're in is complicated. People are complicated. And the danger, I think the worst thing people do in television is simplify everything for themselves so that the process is easier. Because I don't think you can ever have a good understanding of it if you do that. If you really want to report something worthwhile, you have to make the process as difficult as you possibly can for yourself. You have to absorb every detail that you can physically and mentally and emotionally cope with. And then you have to do your job and make it simple so that people can follow what you're talking about and, and that you don't lose everybody. And that you still, within that simplicity, deliver something that's meaningful. That's real, that's the art, really, of what we do. It's much more sophisticated than my father made out in the beginning. And, it, and it's really difficult to do it well. What you're dealing with is so much bigger than who you are. And in the end, that's what helps you deal with it. That's why you do it. You care about it because it matters so much more than who you are. And um, it's about a bigger principle. It's about you know, the principle of freedom freedom of speech, or it's about what nations do in the name of war, or it's about, you know, things, it's all, or it's about injustice or government corruption. It's always about something that's much more important and significant than who you are. And if you can keep that perspective, I think you can cope with anything. I am fortunate that I have um, a very strong foundation, because I grew up with love, a terrible thing, and especially when you're a parent, you know, the thought of a child growing up without love um, just breaks you. And so I have that to go back to. I also, you know, I would have loved to stay in the vortex and just kept going from Iraq back to Afghanistan and then to Syria and then and, um, living other people's lives, avoiding real life, right? Real life is so much harder than everything I've ever done. I mean, dealing with another thing that's broken at home and my God, do we really need to order groceries again? And that's stuff that makes me want to shoot myself in the head. It does. I, I mean, I, I hate it, but I, I have this unbelievable thing, which is my children and my husband, my family. And um, I know it's probably something that's so boring and so hard to understand if you're a student, but um, for me, it was like, you know, my soul was the sea that never stopped moving never stopped moving and then I had children and I was fat and I and finally um, it stopped moving you know I found the meaning of my life I can't talk about the meaning of life um, in a general sense but there it is right there and so how does that weigh with having to go back um, Egypt was the most terrible thing that ever happened to me and I'm still finding a way to live with it and it gets harder over time in a way because I'm, I'm good at picking myself up in the aftermath of, of blood and chaos. I can do that. I kind of know how to do that. Um, but living with the reality of that is, is not great, you know? It's not great. I just have to keep reminding myself of, it's really the people that I interviewed and the people that I've met along the way in those villages and towns and, and that no one cares about and can't pronounce living lives that you know people know nothing about. It's those people who showed me what courage really is. And, uh, and I, that gives me the perspective to keep it in perspective. You know, I'm still here and I have so much to live for.